Welcome to Canva for Authors. We are going to have a look at how to make a simple social media image like this using apps which are available inside Canva itself. So Canva has a whole selection of apps which um, you can access on the side panel here. There's, there's a massive number. A lot of them are um, generative AI related. A lot of them are third party apps. The apps that I'm going to talk about now, apart from Confetti, I think the others are all inside Canva itself. So you don't need a subscription and it's free to all Canva users. I'm Jeevani Charika, romance and women's fiction author and Canva nerd. And on this channel, I help you make the most out of Canva when it comes to making marketing graphics for your book. Okay, let's go design. Okay, let's start with an Instagram square. So that's a nice, useful size. And we are going to go to Canva apps, which is just at the bottom here, apps. There's loads and loads and loads of apps that you could try. Now there are some which are made by Canva itself and they're all called Can something. So let's try Can. So there's Can Wave, Can Blob, that kind of thing. So let's start with can wave if we can find it. Can wave. Okay. So what this then does is it generates waves, exactly what it says on the tin. So you can have a solid one, you can have this sort of gradienty wave, or you can have line ones. Let's go for gradienty ones. Actually, no, let's go for solid ones. You can also have pointy if you want to do mountains or something. And you can change the number of layers. So let's go with that one and we're going to go with sort of a bluey color and you can increase the complexity so you can make them more complex, in which case they get very wiggly or less complex. So three is about maybe no four. Four is about what we want. Okay. And you can change the height variation. And then if you don't get set of waves that you want, you can just regenerate them. Okay, so that's doing a whole bunch of curves. But what I actually want to do is just do one layer. And so I'm going to get rid of this. And add that to my design. And that's going to be one of the layers. That's going to be in the background. Then let's generate again. And again. Mm. No, that looks too similar. That one might be useful. Let's gen and generate again. Maybe let's make it a bit more height variation and a little bit more complexity. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, okay, like that one. Let's have that one. So what I'm doing is I'm getting about three. Maybe let's just do one more. Four. Right, so we've got four different waves and we can put them one in front of the other to get an interesting landscape. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at Shades, which is another app that is made in Canva. So we choose a color. Now this Waves, um, sorry, this Shades app is really useful if you have a, a book cover, for example. So I don't know, let's pull up a book cover, go to uploads and find a book cover. Let's do that one because that's a snowy book. Okay. And then if you go and see what colors are in the photo, so go to photo colors, something like that. Okay, say you wanted to choose this green, right? You go and you click on it again, and it gives you this code. All colors have a hex code. So you copy that code. Then you go back to your shade app and you paste that code in. And it'll give you several different shades and you can click add palette 
and this becomes one of your set of photo colors, right? So now what we can do is let's move this all the way back up here, right? And then I think that could be the furthest back. So let's use document colors, very dark. Next one, slightly lighter. Next one, lighter still. And this one, very light. And then let's make the background a nice dark blue. Tend to gradient and so it's darker on top, lighter at the bottom, right? Let's move this out of the way. So you've got your darkest mountain at the back. Let's get our layers panel up, show layers. Right, so you want darkest at the back and then getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Okay, so let's see how that looks. So that's the front. That's the next one. That's the next one. And that's the last one. Actually, let's just make that slightly less. There. That one I think is too light. So let's make it slightly darker. There. And that one as well could be changed. There we go. So that looks sort of like a hillscape with things at the back. And we could actually, if we go back to the background, add a bit of yellow. Right at the bottom. There. Now it looks like a sunrise. Did I just duplicate that by mistake? There we go. So as you can see, you can use it to build things up. Now then, what else am I going to do with this? I'm going to take this, bring it to the front. Layers, show layers. And I'm going to put that in front there let's change that Layers, layers, dark green thing. Still don't really like the dark green thing. I think it's just too dramatic. Let's get rid of it. And let's duplicate one of the others here. Or let's just make a new wave. I think I'll just duplicate this one. Make it dark green. And send it to the back. There. That's better. Now, if I'd actually done this with a set of blue shades instead of green, so let's go for. What's this one? 5E17EB. Let's go for that blue. Five E one seven E 
copy. Okay, add palette to design. And then let's change these to blue. So that one will be this one, the lightest. That one will be slightly lighter than that. That one will be darker. And that one will be darkest. There you go. That looks suitably fun. And then, uh, I don't know, we could add some trees in the background. Let's put Christmas tree. What you could do, if you wanted to change these to silhouettes, you could just click on there and turn them black. That would make them quite nice silhouettes. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. There we go. And something else for a little bit of interest. Let's do lamppost. No, not that lamppost. Let's try this one. Let's move that back a bit. And let's make it glow. So we need blur. The orange one you can change the color of. So let's make that the same color as the thing. And make it a bit brighter. And then if you wanted to, you could duplicate it. And kind of have a little reflection on the floor. Make it very faint. There. There you go. That's quite a nice little image. And if you wanted, you could add snow. One of the cool other cool apps that you could use is an app called Confetti which lets you generate confetti. There you go. The app is called Confetti. You can choose what kind of confetti you want. So let's have stars and let's deselect everything. Okay, so I quite like stars. Let's leave that one and let's leave sun. No. I arc. Okay, stars and arcs. And then you can choose how dense you want it. We don't want it that dense. Let's get it about, no, let's get it a bit more dense than that. The size of your confetti and the size range and your position range and everything. And it will generate you some confetti and then you could generate again until you get the shape that you want. And then you can add to design. And you can change the colors. So let's go for, actually they're pretty good colors, quite like them. 
Let's change that to white. Just generally making it a bit paler. Now what you can also do is go to animate and let it flicker. Yeah, that's a weird but wonderful design using three different apps that you can find inside Canva and they are available for free. If you found that useful, please tell all your friends. And if you're an author who wants to talk to other authors about how to use Canva and cool things that you can do with it, come join the Facebook group. The link is in the description. If you want me to give you a hand with your social media designs, just email me and we'll discuss what you need. So until the next time, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everyone about this useful video. And thank you for your time.